Welcome to Nikki B's house. This is how we do it. This is how we shout. Welcome here, food, fun, and family. And the ones who rock with Nikki B. So pull out your chair, let down your hair. Sip on some wire, take open the beer. Cause you know how we do it up in here. <laughs> What's up with the Kazama tip, y'all? Boom! Hello my good people, welcome back to my house. Today I have prepared some mackerel cakes with some jerk seasoning. Yes, that's what I said, some jerk seasoning. So guess what, I'm gonna bring you guys along and so you can see how I made this meal. Let's get this party started right now. So I'm gonna first start off with two cans of mackerel. This is the brand that I'm using. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove as much bones as possible. Some people leave bones in because I believe they're edible when you're cooking them, but I'm gonna remove as much as I can. I'm done removing all of the bones. So I took a fork and just, you know, broke it apart flaked it up so I'm going to put these aside and get to start to fry my veggies. So I'm going to go ahead and saute my veggies up. This is the red pepper, yellow pepper and the celery. I'm going to saute these up and I'm going to add in just a little bit of the jerk seasoning and the crab seasoning. And I decided to add in some smoked paprika, paprika as well. So the veggies are all done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate these veggies into the macaroni. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of my panko breadcrumbs along with some of flour, just a little bit for right now to see how it comes out. So add that in, add in your egg, and add in some mayonnaise. This is gonna help bind everything together as well as give it some moisture. That is the jerk seasoning, add some of that in. the crab seasoning and go ahead and add in your Worcestershire sauce say that three times let's go ahead give that a mix So I feel like I need to go ahead and add in the rest of the mayonnaise and matter of fact the rest of everything. Go ahead and add in the rest of your panko and some more of your um, crab seasoning and the jerk seasoning as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start forming these patties. I went ahead and just took a big heaping spoon of the ice cream scoop so I can try to form all of these around the same size. So yeah, just go ahead and give it a pat, you know, form a circle, and there you go. So let me go ahead and finish these guys up. Yeah. 
yeah so these are all done you can see all the veggies in there they're looking pretty good now to start now it's time to start frying these bad boys up go ahead and put these into i'm using a cast iron pan with hot oil go ahead and gently lay your patties in your pan So they've been cooking for about four minutes on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and use the two utensil flip, okay? So that way they won't break apart or try to help them not break apart. So they're doing pretty good. They're looking golden, crispy. They're looking really good, guys. Go ahead and take these out. They cooked about, you know, seven minutes all together, seven to eight minutes. So these are looking fantastic. When I tell y'all, these crispy, delicious goodness came out so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, sprinkle a little bit of, you know, green scallions on top. You can put chives on top. Y'all, this was so Good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Sprinkle a little bit more of that jerk season on top. You know what I'm saying? You guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel, watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Okay? <laughs> this was so good. Sprinkle some lemon on top of here. Perfection. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my house.